all right fellas in this video we are going to see the best nvidia control panel settings for autocad so first of all you need to download and install the nvidia studio driver on your pc and for that you need to have a nvidia geforce experience once you are done downloading and installing the nvidia geforce experience you need to navigate to search on your windows and you need to type nvidia in the search bar once you are done you will see two options here nvidia control panel and the nvidia geforce experience first of all we will dive straight into the nvidia geforce experience all right fellas so once you're right inside you need to first of all navigate to drivers once you're right inside the drivers option you need to click on these three vertical dots which are next to check for updates and you need to select the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps which includes adobe series filmora autocad and all other auto editing and video editing softwares so this is very optimized for using the autocad on your pc it will customize the usage of gpu while you are editing in the autocad if you are unable to see this option studio driver you can also go with the game ready driver that's fine this will work fine too with the current settings and once you're done you need to download and install the latest version of the nvidia studio driver and you can click on check for updates if you have any updates make sure the latest version is installed on your pc once you're done you need to go back to the home and you need to click on this autocad icon you need to click on detail as you can see the hardware acceleration is on and this is the optimal settings that is automatically applied by the nvidia geforce experience so that's it in the nvidia geforce experience and now we will navigate into the nvidia control panel to apply the best settings for the autocad again you need to go to search and you need to type nvidia once you're done now you need to click on nvidia control panel once you're right inside the nvidia control panel first of all you need to select adjust image settings with preview and use the advanced 3d image settings is enabled after that you need to go to configure surround physics and before navigating make sure you have applied all the changes you need to click on yes once you're right inside for the physics sex settings processor you need to select your gpu as right now i have nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti i will select this one i will not select the cpu because i want the gpu to be used whenever i run the application for editing so that's it and now you need to go to the manage 3d settings here we will apply the nvidia control panel settings for the autocad I do not recommend to apply the global settings but I recommend to apply in the program settings specifically the that AutoCAD and now you need to click on show only programs found on this computer this option must be checked and you can click on this drop down and as you can see NVIDIA control panel has automatically fetched the AutoCAD in the control panel list and if you are unable to locate the Auto Autodesk AutoCAD in your NVIDIA control panel you can click on add and once you are right inside you can explore these programs from this list and if still you are unable to find the autocad application from the list you can click on browse and i will tell you the default location where the autocad is located it is located in this pc local disk c program files then you need to navigate to autodesk and you need to select autocad but whatever the version is i have 2023 and now you need to scroll down until you see the acad autocad so you need to double click on this and it will be automatically opened into the program to customize so once you are done let us apply the best NVIDIA control balance settings for the Autodesk AutoCAD. For image scaling, you need to click on ON and keep it at 50% and click on OK. For any stropic filtering, click on 8x. For anti-aliasing FXAA, you need to click on ON. For gamma correction, click on ON. For anti-aliasing mode, click on override any application settings. And the settings should be 8x. For the transparency, you need to select 8x super sample. For the background application max frame rate, you need to click on on and keep it as maximum and click on ok. For the GPU, this is the very important setting, CUDA GPUs, you need to select use these GPUs and you need to select your graphics card here and click on ok. For the low latency mode, click on ultra. For max frame rate, click on on and keep it as at its maximum. For the multi frame sample AA, MF AA, click on on. For OpenGL GTA compatibility, this is available in the latest version of the NVIDIA control panel, you need to select the prefer performance for OpenGL rendering gpu you need to select your graphics card here for power management mode you need to uh, apply the prefer maximum performance for the texture filtering you need to click on on and for the negative lod bias you need to click on clamp for the texture filtering quality make sure 
it is at its high performance if you are looking for the quality you can select high quality but i prefer high performance because we do not need any lag while we are editing in the autocad for the trilinear optimization it should be on for threaded optimization keep it as on for triple buffering keep it also as on for vertical sync this is not this is related to the monitor frame rates we can ignore this for the vulkan open gl present method you need to click on preferred layered on g x d i swap chain and that's it and once you're done you need to click on apply here and now your nvidia control panel has successfully applied the best gpu settings for the autocad and now let us dive straight into the autodesk autocad all right fellas as you can see i'm right inside my autodesk autocad and now we will apply the best gpu acceleration settings in the autocad and enable the gpu acceleration for that you need to click on this logo on the top left corner of the screen and you need to click on options once you are right inside you need to go to system make sure automatically check for certification update is checked and you need to click on graphics performance under hardware acceleration once you're right inside make sure you have the directx installed on your pc and in the effect settings for the hardware acceleration it should be turned on and for the 2d display settings make sure it is advanced mode if we click on details and uh, you can see the smooth line display make sure it is checked and video memory caching level should be at its maximum this is 5 and make sure in the 3d display settings all options are selected fast shaded mode advanced material effects full shadow display per pixel lightning uncompressed textures these are all settings that you need to make sure it is enabled and once you're done applying these settings you need to click on ok and uh, after that you can click on ok and now you can design anything in the autocad and it will be much faster and you will experience the best performance from your autodesk autocad and that's it guys i hope you like this video and if you have any queries you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible and uh, in my next video i will show you the best in react role panel settings for some other applications that you use in your daily life and that will help you in increasing the rendering speed in that specific application for that you can like my video and you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned or stay updated and that's it guys if you have any questions you can comment down below in the comment section i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day and that will help you in increasing the rendering speed in that specific application for that you can like my video and you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned or stay updated and that's it guys if you have any questions you can comment down below in the comment section i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible Thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day. And that's it guys. If you have any questions you can comment down below in the comment section. I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day.